York City. The noise, the lights, the excitement. Maybe a little too much excitement for a 15-year-old girl. That's why Wilbur Pope moved his family out to this farm. My farm. By the way, I'm Mr. Ed. Man, I'm gonna have my hooves full with this one. I mean, I go to a couple of clubs, barf on one cop, and he freaks out and buys this stupid farm to get me out of New York. I know. I don't know what he'd do if he ever find out at the time that I... Gotta go. Oh, hey, look who decided to come out of the car. Bugs started coming in through the air vents. Oh, sweetheart, I know that you think that this was a drastic move, but I'm telling you, we can have a great life out here. Let me show you what I have planned for the barn. Come on, come on. Huh? Check out the future law offices of Wilbur Pope, Esquire. Who are you gonna represent out here anyway? I mean, what, people who steal pies off of other people's windowsills? I was nowhere near that pie. Yeah. I'd come to your windowsill any day. Who's this? Uh, this is Jim Hendry. He's our handyman. He knows everything about our house. Mom, Dad, flip down! Uh, this oh, here oh, is Mr. Ed. He kind of comes with the property, like a pond or a mighty oak or the bones of a murdered witch. Cool! Speaking of which, what brings you folks to the kidnapping capital of the world, anyway? Granite Falls is the kidnapping capital of the world. Per capita. We are so gonna get kidnapped! No, Danny. Hands up! Danny! The, the real estate agent never said anything about a horse. Oh, you're not so hard to take care of, are you? No, no, you're not. Who's the prettiest horse in Granite Falls? You are, yes, you are. I can get rid of them for you. <laughs> See you later. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't be so hard to take care of, you old glue pot. Call an old glue pot. I can still get more play than P. Diddy. There's a raccoon in the house. Oh my god, it was so nasty. Oh, I'm on it. Hey, put the rock down. Woo, it's a big one. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna puke. Cool! Puke right now, bitch can, bitch can! Shut up! Take me! Guys, guys, just cool it. Don't overreact, it's just one raccoon. You got take a look at this! She's protecting her litter! That's it, I'm walking back to New York. No, 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 listen to me. Just go to school, it will be gone when you get back, okay? Uh, no, no, she is not going to school dressed like that. I mean, look at her, you can see her belly button ring. When did you get a belly button <laughs> ring? Go inside right now and change. There's a freaking animal in there! I am not an animal! Hey, listen, I'm gonna need some uh, raccoon bait in here. You got some peanut butter? Uh, top shelf of the pantry. What did you do? Mom, Wilbur! Well, look at her! Okay, you know, you go to school. She looks fine. <sighs> Thanks, Mom. For what's worth, Dad, I think this place is awesome. When I get home from school today, I'm gonna blow up some mailboxes. Don't sweat it. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. We're, we're raising a stripper and the Unabomber. Honey, you really have got to ease up on Amanda. Yeah, that worked really well back in the city. Why don't we just go clubbing with her? Teach her how to hold her liquor. Listen to me. If you don't find a way to connect with her, you will lose her. Ah! We got him. Oh. Well, these suckers just love peanut butter. What are you going to do with it? Well, I figured I'd keep him here in the barn until Sunday and then drive out to the country, let him go. Wait, people in the country drive out to the country? Oh, yeah. They got nothing out there. Hendry, I know this is a really dumb question, but do you know of a Pilates place around here? Oh, sure. Here's what you want to do. Uh, you go down your driveway, you take a right. Uh -huh. Your first left is Route 6. Okay. Then you drive all the way back to New York City. Huh. You know what? I think I'll just go do some yoga on the front lawn. Oh, yeah. Little downward dog. You just look at my wife's ass? Busted. <laughs> You know, that's a compliment to you, right? That Henry's a horse's ass. Wait, who? Wait, who said that? Uh... Hello? Okay, here we go. 
What the hell? Yes, I'm a talking horse. It's unbelievable. Get over it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm dreaming. That's it. I don't remember falling asleep, but I must be dreaming. Come here. I'll pinch you. Oh, all right. Is this a trick? <laughs> Am I being punked? Just relax, Wilbur. Let's have some whiskey. Oh, all right, okay. Whoever's doing this, you really pulled it off. It's the best practical joke ever. The joke is all that Oprah bull your wife has given you. Communicate, connect, crap on that. You the man of the house. Now you slap a muzzle on that kid, chop off her hair to make her ugly, and stick her in a room till she's 21. Henry sent me in for some more burlap bags. Apparently the raccoon is only the tip of the food chain. All right, honey, honey, remember how we were blown away by that chimp on Letterman who could tap dance? Man, have we got that beat. What? Our horse talks. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not moving us to a farm and then losing your mind. You gotta see this. Just stand over here, stand over here, stand over here. Okay, all right, go ahead, uh, say something. Come, come on, speak, speak. He spoke. No, <laughs> Good for you. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Talk to her the way you were talking to me. With the thing. On the mouth. With... Hey, okay, he... Uh, he... Look, he said you were filling my head with all this Oprah bull and that I was the man of the house. That's funny because I was just talking to a duck outside who totally disagrees. Did, did the duck sound sort of black? There was no duck. You're... You've been drinking. No, no, no. It's the horse's whiskey. He drinks too. Uh, okay, you're scamming me. And I can't believe I'm touching burlap. Hey, this isn't the cheap stuff, so go easy. Ah, so you do talk. Why didn't you say something for my wife? Listen, there are two things in this world I don't trust. Women and elk. Long story. Look, Wilbur, you did the right thing getting your family out of New York. I did the same thing when I caught my youngest hanging out at the track. That's one tough town. You know New York? Like the back of my hoof. I was a police horse there. <laughs> I'm telling you, you haven't lived until you've trampled a peace-loving hippie. I can't believe I'm talking to a horse. And I can't believe I'm talking to a lawyer. How much is this gonna cost me? Oh my God, he's like a total hottie. And he's like the only kid in the entire class who isn't trying to grow a mustache. Ah, found you. I gotta go, Kayla. Farmer Brown just walked in. Don't you ever knock? It's a barn. I just wanted to see how things are going. How's Kayla doing? She doesn't have to churn her own butter, so better than me. Okay. Uh, how's school? You like any of the kids out here? You like your teachers? You like going like this? Uh, what do you think about the horse? Huh? Should we keep him? He's okay. He's kind of old and he smells a little bit like grandma. Whatever. Uh, you know what, sweetheart? I have an idea. What do you say we take him for a ride? Huh? There's something we could never do in New York, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I. All right, I'll just. Uh, well, hope you didn't have your heart set on a new little brother or sister. Ah, <laughs> you smiled. I saw it. Don't worry. I'll keep it on the down low. <laughs> down low? Oh, Dad's all ghetto. Hey, dude, I bought it. Honey, come on. Look at this. Is this really that bad? It's so bad. You have no idea. You're going to make friends out here, too. I already have made friends. I'm not unpopular. No kidding. Have you seen the skirt? There's this guy, Robert, and this guy, Josh. Oh, and this one guy. Uh, totally hot. Totally, in that John Mayer kind of way. Popular musician. Ah, yes, the popular musician. Yeah. His name's Hank. Hank Simpson? Hank Simpson. Yeah, how do you know him? How do I know him? <laughs> well, I think she's got us. Man, were you listening to us out there? I mean, Amanda and I were actually talking. That's like the first time that's happened since she was like 12. I, I mean, I, I said something, then she said something, then I said something, then... Who are you talking to? No, I'm, I'm not talking to the horse. I didn't say you were talking to the horse. I'm just making that clear. It must be the shot the doctor gave me for that gopher bite earlier. By the way, you had a gopher. 
still, something seems weird here. Okay, that was definitely from the shop. You think he suspects anything? Please, that boy's slower than Keanu Reeves after a turkey dinner. Now we've got a real problem. Jump on. What? Where are we going? Over to Hank Simpson's house. Hi, ho, me! Hold on, hold on. What, man, what's wrong with this kid? Trust me, he's bad news. You hang out in the barn, you see stuff. You know how many fillies this dude's been with? Okay, you can talk, but you can't tell me a number? I'm going for a dramatic effect. I just had a great day with my daughter. And, well, I gotta start trusting her sometime. But Wilbur... I said forget it. Fine, you're the boss. Is this Hank? Yes. This is Amanda Pope's father. Now, if you even so much as look at my daughter again, I'm gonna stick my leg so far up your behind, you're gonna wonder why your mouth tastes like hoof. Uh, I, I, I meant boot. You're gonna wonder why your mouth tastes like boot. Yeah. Just pray this one's mother doesn't come looking for it. Oh, you get it out. Out, oh, out, oh out, 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 out. Another one? I mean, where did these animals come from? Well, when a male possum likes a lady possum, he gives her a special kind of hug. Even if the lady possum's already married. Okay, Jim, remember we talked about inappropriate? Oh, look at that. She's chewing through the bag. I gotta go. You gonna need more peanut butter? Who do we get to remove him from the house? <laughs> hey, there's my girl. Dad, you suck! Amanda, he called up my boyfriend and told him that if he ever spoke to me again, he'd stick a hoof in his mouth. A hoof! No, oh. I don't. Unbelievable. Damn, Wilbur, you screwed up my cheese. You called that Hank kid and you told him you were gonna stick a hoof up into his mouth? You're welcome. No, no! My daughter and I were finally starting to get along again. And now she's freaking out. Have you ever seen a 15-year-old girl freak out? There's a lot of shrieking. Yeah, but on the bright side, it's your virgin daughter freaking out, not some little hoe on the prairie. What is the matter with you? Is this how you expect to bond with her? No. It, 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 it. I'll call the kid and apologize. You can apologize in person. I invited him to dinner tonight. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go and shuck something. <laughs> What were you thinking? You can't just go around pretending that you're me. Ixnay, Ixnay. Now, who are you talking to? Myself. So you can't go around pretending you're you. I'm very complicated. I'm from New York. Smooth. Hey, bad karma, bad karma. It's only been me and my mom since my dad took off. Divorce? Tornado. Just oh. carried him away. Oh. So that's good corn, huh? Young and tender and definitely underage. Wilbur, don't you have something to say to Hank? Oh, yeah, right. Hank, I would like to apologize. For the rude an utterly disrespectful phone call I made yesterday. Wussy. <laughs> a tornado took your dad away? Ah, tornado, U.S. Marshal, either way, I got no curfew. So I was uh, thinking I could meet you in the barn after your parents go to sleep. Are you little? I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Oh, come on, Amanda. I expect these games from a townie, but not from you. So see you in a few hours. Oh, it's on, Croton. That little punk said that? Mm-hmm. You know, I moved her out of the city to get her away from stuff like this. What? You think no one has sex in the country? I get more tail out of here than I ever did. Now, let's ride over to his place and jack him up. 
Oh, no, no. That'll just make her want him more. I got a better idea. Amanda, is that you, Hank? Where are you? I'm in here. Can we turn on the light? No, it's kinkier in the dark. Why do you sound so different? Uh, 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 I, I just got my tongue pierced. Oh, right. Now, why did you get out of those clothes? And smear that peanut butter I left out all over your hot body. Peanut butter? Just do it, bitch. Oh, okay. Is this working for you? It's showtime. Did you see his face? Did you see his onions? I didn't, because there was a big old badger hanging off of him. <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, Wilbur. I don't know what you've heard, but I don't ride side saddle. OK, don't make a big deal about this, but your instincts about Hank were so cosmically correct. He's a raving lunatic. You don't say. Totally. He called this morning and said that I was some kind of freaky peanut butter eating dominatrix. I mean, I don't even like peanut butter. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out. It's cool. Because there's this new guy, Ellery. He's way cooler than Hank. And he's like 25. What? what? But don't worry, he's in my grade. <laughs> okay, you know what? This one's yours. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are whoa. you doing? I'm taking this fella off your hands, just like we talked about. Where? To a petting zoo? Yeah, you like petting dog food. No, no, uh, no, you know what, Jim? Uh, we can't do that. I've kind of gotten attached to Mr. Ed here. We're keeping him? Yeah. Yeah, we're keeping him. Kind of grew on me. Oh, he did, huh? Yeah. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time for his feeding. You know, Pope, there's something weird going on between you and this horse. Not, not sexy weird, but weird, weird. I'm watching you. Hey, look after this, huh? City slickers getting the hang of it. <laughs> All right. I'll see you later, buddy. No, ho, ho, Wilbur, Wilbur. Listen, I'm not one of those horses that's comfortable expressing my emotions, but I just wanted to say thank you for not letting him turn me into Alpo. You're welcome. So, Danny tells me we're keeping the horse. Yeah, yeah. I, I promise to, to feed him and walk him every day. You really like that thing, don't you? Yeah. Should I be jealous? Uh, no. No, I do not think Ed could pull off this outfit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was that for? You did good with Amanda. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. What was that for? For the Prada outlet store I found 30 miles from here. <laughs> Listen, kids are out whittling or skipping stones or something, so why don't you come over here and join me? Uh, oh, whoa, no. Whoa, no, whoa, whoa. no, we can't. Sure it's... we can. Uh, no, 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 not in front of... <laughs> it's a horse. It's not like he's watching us. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We are getting thicker curtains for the bedroom. That's right. I don't blame you for being intimidated. You've already seen my junk. <laughs> Have fun, Wilbur. Mm -hmm.